Yo, we're back again, guys, with another video. And you know what this is. We're going to take a look in the close-up case I had. Gone. Voila! Here we go. So, yes, I asked um, a few of you if, you want, if you were interested in looking at the case. And you guys are. So, I'm going to show you deep dive into my close-up case, why I carry it, what's in there, and also I may show you the other cases I have. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so here is the video. You're probably thinking, where the hell is he? What are? Hello. <laughs> Sorry, that was so bad. So yeah, you're probably thinking, wow, Brandon, we've got loads of cases here. Uh, and these aren't all of them. I have a lot more cases. Don't worry, we're not going through all these cases. I just wanted to show you a few I have, starting off with the small one. I'm not going to go through this. I'm not going to open it up. Um, do you know what? I'll open it up really quickly. I'm not going to go through this one because this isn't the main case. Uh Oh, it's very, very, me oops, very, very messy. Let me stand up so you can see. So in here we have uh, mag uh, Magneto, we've got Quantum Deck with Stackwatch. We've got, there's just so many. We're not bothered about these anyway. But this is uh, a makeup case uh, I nicked off Debbie. So thank you, Debbie, if you're watching. It's not a very good one. But yes, uh, that's one of the cases. This case, uh, I love this case. Because there's nothing, I don't think there's anything in this one. Let me double check. Oh, just like gimmick stuff and whatnot. But this is a great case. Uh, it's basically like the TCC case. So this is the TCC case I use. Uh, but do you know what? I actually prefer this case. I'm not going to lie. I do prefer this case. Only because in this top part, let me show you you can put in a close-up pad. And this close-up pad you're about to see, I don't know if there's anything inside this. Um, I've had this about five years. Uh, my design, probably won't like it. I've uh, got my initials on there. And I think my dad actually drew that picture and got it put on a close-up pad. But it's in amazing condition. Uh, but this pad I used to carry like so. So, when I was going out doing magic and I took this bag, I always had a close-up pad. That's why I probably like it. And it's a little bit bigger than the uh, TCC case. So, yes, um, great little case. And do you know what? I might swap this case for my other one. I know what you're thinking, Brandon. We want to see what's in your close-up case. But I'm just showing you the boxes first. All the cases. This is a beast. This is a right beast. Uh, I love this case. Let me show you how cool this looks. Let me show you this. I love doing this. So you open it up like so. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, gimmick making stuff in here. I don't think you can see this. But basically, these actually open out. So you've got compartments and then compartments here. So I know you can't see it at the angle. Um, I'm going to try and tip it. There we go. But all this stuff in here... I have uh, for gimmick making. This is like my gimmick making box. It used to be in my magic box because it's got loads of um, compartments in there. So this used to be my full time case, but now it's my gimmick case. So let's get in to the proper case. Whew, I just uh, put all the boxes back. Um, so let's jump into this. This is like this is what I carry with me all the time. Well, not all the time. If I'm going out uh, to a gig, or if I know I'm going to a barbecue, take this. It's not big at all. It's pretty decent size. And if you don't want to carry it like this, you have some shoulder straps right here. What clips on? So it's like a bit of a laptop bag. But if you don't want to do that, you can put this in your backpack, and you're ready to go. So, uh, let me bring you a lot closer so you can see what I see. Okay, guys, so here is the, I would say, unboxing. It's not an unboxing. This is the club up case, and I'm going to show you for the very first time what is inside. So, let's open this up. 
ignore this part in here. Uh, the top part, we'll get to that in just uh, well, a bit later on. So here it is. You're probably thinking, wow, Brandon, are you James Bond in disguise? Because you can see the black leathers, the knife. No, I'm not, unfortunately. So let's just get this out of the way. This isn't a trick knife. This is for my defense. So if anybody does try and hurt me or rob me, I can grab it and what the? No, I'm only joking. Uh, this is a normal knife, but I use this for a routine where a card is selected, signed, the card gets thrown up and you stab and the card ends up on the knife. So that's why I carry that in there. And also if anybody's watching me and they're going to try and mug me, they know what's going to happen. I'm joking, not really. So I carry the knife with me. So we're going to work ourselves from the, I don't know if you can see that on camera, the top left, and we're going to go across to the main section. So over here, we have a thumb tip. We all love a thumb tip. If you know any uh, bill switchers, you'll, they're amazing. So, and if you want to learn a bill switch, let me know and I can teach you one. So I have a thumb tip, also a very small pack of bicycle playing cards, and you can do some miracles with this. Trust me, you really can. And I don't think I've actually taught a trick using this, but there we go, another video, I may do that. So that's the, the very first part. Over here, I have some jam. And the only reason I have jam is just in case I go to a cafe and I fancy some toast, I've always got jam with me. No, I am joking. That is not true. Uh, this is uh, for an effect called Pot of Jam by James Brown. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a fantastic trick. I can't show it now because I need a spectator. And it's just so good. Anyway, moving on, we have this wallet. This is the Edge Wallet by TCC. A fantastic effect, or effect, shall I say, wallet. It's a card to wallet. You can do a palm card to wallet, um, but the version I taught on the channel already where you have a envelope, like so, inside your normal wallet. That's the one I normally do. So just imagine you've got your bank card, your credit card, your driving license in there. It will look like an ordinary wallet. But say if um, you want somebody going to show you, say, show me a trick with uh, these packs of cards. And it's an old pack of cards. You can do a no palm to wallet with a borrowed deck. It obviously doesn't go in the envelope because that's a completely different trick. But yeah, it's a very nice wallet. I always keep it with me just in case that happens. So, the TCC wallet. Also, we have some flash paper. We all love flash paper. If you don't know what that is, I haven't got a lighter, but you get 20 small sheets. You rip a piece, you light it, and a flash comes. It looks really cool. So, we have the flash paper. Over here are my favorite set of coins in the whole wide world. So if you remember my uh, matrix, uh, or should I say shadow coins, they are in here. My shadow coins, uh, what I did them with, these are them. There is a gimmick uh, coin in there, but these coins are made absolutely amazing. So yes, I keep these in this leather pouch as well, just so I know nothing bad's gonna happen to them. So I keep my shadow, I call them shadow coins in there. Also, an eight ball. Ooh, you could do so much with an eight ball. Uh, I think I've actually explained one trick with the eight ball, but you could do so much. Uh, do you know what? I'll show you this actually quickly. Uh, where is it? This one. So let me set this up very quickly, guys. Obviously, I wouldn't do it like this, but you show an eight ball on the card box and then you can actually take it out and <laughs> it looks so cool. But we'll get to that in just a second. But yeah, uh, I have an eight ball because I do a lot of tricks with the eight ball. Also a hole punch. Oh God, the amount of tricks you can do with this where they uh, hole punch a card and you can stretch it, you can make them jump. So yeah, I always carry this uh, if I'm gonna do one of them sort of effects. And also in here, this is a very cool wallet. So there's quite a few different compartments in here. One there, one there, and one here. So uh, inside here, I've just got loads of different gimmick coins, uh, shells, uh, copper silver, 
I, I, there's loads of different coins inside there. So that's the middle part. I'm trying to rush through this so I don't bore you to death, guys, because it can be probably pretty boring. Uh, watch me rambling on about my close-up case. So in here, uh, we have Boris, my pet spider. It's a fantastic trick, this. It's a, uh, you can get on the App Store, my pet Boris, I think it's called, uh, where you tell them to hold the phone on and you load this at the back of the hand. And then when you tell them to wave the hand, it will be on the back of the hand and they scream and hate you forever. Also, this is a great trick. Uh, it's like a ring flight. Uh, I forgot the creator of this, so I apologize. I will leave it down somewhere here. Uh, but this, you borrow a ring and it ends up on the keychain. Brilliant effect. Do you know what? I haven't even tried it in the real world yet, but I can imagine it gets good reactions. So now we're getting to the cool stuff. I can't even get my keys back in there. We're coming to the cool stuff. So let's start here. So here we have Shrapnel by, uh, oh my God, Kim Anderson. Yes, Kim Anderson. If you haven't seen this, it's a linking uh, ring and safety pin routine. And you get all this. Oh, honestly, if you haven't seen it, it's brilliant. I'm still playing around with it. So I could do a little performance for you. In here are just two normal decks of cards. I don't need to get them out. And in here, we have a very nice, um, she's like a mind reading trick. So they shuffle these cards, they shuffle these cards, and all the colors match. It's absolutely amazing. It's called Impossible. Uh, but as for the creator's name, I do not know, so I apologize. Do you know what? I should be getting it all out on the table. Uh, we have this. Uh, this this is a prediction effect. What I'm going to be teaching on the channel It's a fantastic trick. Uh, so I'll leave that to one side. Minify has just come out uh, with all the magic dealers. It's brilliant. Uh, basically, you get a card picked, and when you riffle, actually a small card jumps out, and it's four spades. Brilliant trick. And we have a leather pouch. Uh, we have some gimmick cards in here. One is Carfew Sharpie. And the other is, I have no idea. Oh, yes. That's uh, Flux. Uh, Flux. Oh, my God. If you haven't seen Flux, I will show you the trick. Not today. But it's so strong. It's by, oh, my days. I forgot his name. If you know his name, comment down below. I apologize. Anyway, we have here, uh, oh, this is a brilliant, brilliant trick. I forgot I had this, to be honest with you. Um... I forgot the name. I think it's Split Decision. And you know what? I'm not even going to spoil that. That's going to be ready. That's going to be another video. Okay. That is going to be another video. Um, it's just so good. I won't be teaching this, but I will show you the trick. And as well, we have a Joshua J close up case. So you ha a close up case, a uh, pouch where you can have your business card, a deck of cards, and then you can have your gimmick card, your rubber bands in there, and another packet trick in here. I keep that with me, and that can go on your belt. Or, if you don't want to take all this, you can have your little show inside this one little pouch. Okay, Joshua J pouch. We have some billets, so just blank uh, business cards on both sides in case I'm gonna do some kind of mentalism routine. And we have this. This is awesome. This is by TCC. So let's go through it. So here, you can put a deck of cards in. Okay. So you can have a deck of cards in there. It is a bit of a tight fit. So let's just say you're going out with this. Okay. So you have a deck of cards, obviously. And then inside here, how cool. It looks like a beautiful flower. So all these are gimmick cards. So let's say I wanted to do this routine here, which is actually brilliant. Uh, it's a um, collector's effect using four different colored cards. Okay, so you use four red cards and you do it with a blue deck. I might actually show you that as well if you're interested. It's the cleanest collectors I've ever seen. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to go through all these tricks in here, but all these... Uh, gimmick cards, uh, there could be a packet trick, there's a few packet tricks in there, so that's that, I have it all in one, so I have it all together, and now, here, 
Okay, let me put these back so you can actually see uh, what here is, because I know you can't see it from that angle. Let me put that back in there. There we go. So let's bring you back. Here it is. So we're going to start off with the Omni deck. Wow, you get killer reactions with the Omni deck. Trust me, it's so strong. And I don't think a lot of magicians use it anymore just because of... Um, they think it's old and they don't want to use it anymore. But great, fantastic trick. This, you know what, right? You can't see that there, sorry. This is amazing i picked this up at blackpool from alakazam magic uh it's called welcome to las vegas it is amazing uh i'm not gonna teach you this trick a teacher i'm not gonna show you this trick either but it could be another video for the channel i can show you it uh, perform it if you like it i'll leave a link where you can buy it it's not mine to teach but this is so good it really is over here we have any card uh, by richard sanders wow I think this, honestly, I'm not just saying this, I think this trick is the strongest card trick to today. I really do. But that is my opinion. You might not might not be bothered about my opinion, but I think any card by Richard Sanders is the strongest trick today. This is the appearing eight ball. I don't know if you saw it. If you watched, if you watched all the video, uh, I did the appearing eight. It's a normal pack of playing cards in there, but obviously the box is gimmicked, so you can produce an eight ball. That's by Steve Rowe. It's hard. I think you can't even purchase this anymore. I could be wrong, but it's a great, great effect. This is Knock 'em Dead by Alakazam Pietanade, the newest version. If you haven't seen it, I can't, I'm not going to teach you today, uh, but this is so, so strong. And I'll get Debbie to help me uh, film this because it's so good. I'll give it a little review as well. In here, oh, this is fantastic. Uh, I forgot I had this as well. Uh, this, I, I don't even know. I think it's called Out of the Blue by James Anthony. This is so good. For magicians, you will understand uh, how it works, but for lay people, for the layman's, this is a killer. Like I said, if you're interested in watching this, uh, watching this, yeah, watching me perform this, let me know and I can do a performance of that. And in here is Quantum. I know you saw the case in the last, in the, in the last case, I can't even speak, but this is Quantum. Uh, it's a blank deck I can show you. Basically, they think of Eddie Card. It's the card there, you saw that. So don't, I do apologize, they don't think of a card. They think of any number from 1 to 52, and whatever number they name will be at that position, that card. And it really is a blank deck except for one card. And I'm not lying. All the other cards are blank except from this card, and whatever number they name, that four of hearts will be at that position. Trust me. And that is the only printed card in the deck. Brilliant trick, absolutely amazing. So, we are nearly there. If you're still with me, wow, well done. I don't know how you did it, um, because I know it can be a bit boring looking at other people's close-up case. So, let me show you this part before we stop. So, here we have, um, I don't know if you can see that. Do you know what, I may as well just get it all out to show you quickly. We have the... Um, Turbo Stick by Richard Sanders. Absolutely amazing effect. We have Sharpies in here. Oh, that is so cool. If you haven't seen that, it's a cigarette. He put a cigarette in there and it turns to a very small cigarette. I've done that on my YouTube shorts. I have also the exploding Sharpie pen. So, I'm not going to show you on that. But they will, when you tell them to sign a card, they go boom. And it explodes and scares the living hell out of them. And I have some caps to go in there. So that's a very, I shall say, a very quick, probably a long uh, video of what's in my close-up case. So that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, it's a uh, little bit different to seeing a car trick. You're seeing what I carry with me if I go out and perform. Uh, don't think that I carry all these cards in my pocket when I go out. I don't. I choose on, obviously, depending on the environment. But yeah, that is it. If you would like to see these tricks, 
uh, performed, I'll just do a performance, let me know and I can tell you exactly where to buy them and leave you a link as well. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed doing it. Like I said, it was something a little bit different than doing another card trick. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you next. Thank you.